This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back, Nebraska. We are in a new undisclosed location. We've got to adjust the lighting here just a little bit. I probably should walk into the lighting. There we go. All right, there you go. All right, we are in a brand new undisclosed location for quarantine tonight. We welcome you to our show. This is our 61st quarantine tonight on News Channel Nebraska, brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center. We are so thankful to the Norfolk Knights of Columbus who hosted us for all 60 shows. And now we're in a brand new place. I could tell you, uh, but you couldn't tell anybody else, so we'll just refrain for a little bit. We do have a very special guest tonight, uh, the Leo Lani Orchestra, straight out of Brainerd. They're here with, uh, we have nine members? How many do we have? Okay, we have seven here tonight. We've had as many as nine with the big band, but you can see they've got their orchestra, what do you call these things? Uh, Band fronts uh, all laid out here, and uh, the instruments are ready to go, and we hope you are ready for a wonderful night. Here's what we're doing tonight. So just so you know, uh, and this makes so many people happy, we're going to be featuring videos of your children dancing around to all the polka. As soon as the music starts, take a video real fast on your phone and then send it to News Channel Nebraska Facebook. If you get that video to us, we will get it up as soon as possible. The sooner you get it to us, the better chance we have of giving, getting it on TV. And there are people all over this state that look forward to this and we kind of do this special with the Leo Lani Orchestra and that's what we're going to do tonight. So we've got polka all night long until 10 o'clock. We hope you enjoy it. A uh, couple other matters for the house. We are going to be live next week in our brand new location and then we'll have two weeks of replays and we need to know what you'd like to see on a replay before we return to our undisclosed location on July 14th gives us all a chance to kind of catch our breath and maybe even take a few family vacations. But tonight we're live, we're local, and it's polka right here on News Channel Nebraska. Time now for our evening prayer. We have a youngster from Columbus. Uh, his name is Carson. The reason we have chosen him is that it is his hope someday to become a priest. And so we gave him the reins with tonight's evening prayer. Hello, my name is Carson, and let's do a prayer. Lord, send down your Holy Spirit and help the people who have the coronavirus. Help the people who are in war. Help the people who are suffering. And we thank for all of our moms, our dads, our grandpa and grandmas and we can do the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou them woman and blessed are the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and now the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for praying with us, with me. Enjoy the music. Thank you for praying. Goodbye. That may be the neatest prayer we've ever had on Quarantine Tonight. That's Carson. He's 10. He plans to be a priest when he grows up. How many of you in the audience were watching or were, were mouthing the words to the Hail Mary as he was saying them? <laughs> Just hoping that he got through it. He did a wonderful job, and he gave a very gracious prayer. And thanks for praying for all of these musicians. Ladies and gentlemen, the Leo Lonnie Orchestra is here. Uh, Lonnie Pitts, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us back. You betcha. This is your third appearance? Third time. Second with the polka band. 
two with polka, one, one with, with big the band. ballroom. Yep, with the big band. Now I have to admit, I was kind of, I was looking forward to a little big band, but I know we set this up to be polka tonight. And if we were asking our audience, they're all about the polka. That's right. And we really want to encourage people to send us videos of their little kids dancing in the living room because it makes a huge difference to so many of our viewers. Uh, that enjoy watching the polka, seeing the kids dancing around. And uh, Lonnie, you've been here since the very start of this, and yep. we really appreciate it. The so. very first secret location. You were at the very, the very first, first secret, secret location. location. Yes, That's right. you were in the first week, weren't you? Yep, we were the first polka band. Yeah, first first polka band, yeah. and it was kind of electric when we put those videos oh, up, yeah. and you were there. We had more responses from people with that, that they just loved that. So, Well, you guys do a great job. We're so happy to have you. We're going to introduce ourselves to a few of your new members here. But how happy are we that Chad <laughs> found a way to bring this beautiful piano from Lutheran High Northeast to this new undisclosed location? That's right. It made my daughter very happy. She thought she was going to play the keyboard tonight. And ta -da. I know. I just talked to her a second ago. And she's so happy, and she's such is such, is such a wonderful young lady. We're going to talk to her as well, ladies and gentlemen. The Leo Lonnie Orchestra. It's time for polka on News Channel Nebraska. <laughs> tune we call the Bums Luck Polka. We had a, a nice vocal on that tune. We're going to do a lot of vocals tonight just because we have uh, one of the finest star vocalists that uh, we didn't have him the last couple times on uh, the broadcast and we're glad to have Mr. Paul Menoshuk with us today. So uh, Paul is right there and he's waving to everybody. Uh, this next tune we're going to do is a little tune and uh, 
It was my dad's favorite song, and the Leo Lonnie Orchestra, the Leo part was uh, my dad, Leo, and yours truly, Lonnie. And so uh, it was his favorite tune, and he liked it so much that one of his wishes was whenever he would pass away that we would play this tune uh, for him one more time. And so my dad is going to be gone uh, the 24th of this month, six years already, and so I want to do this in memory of my dad. This is a little tune called the Little by Little Polka. called the little by little polka. I had a lot of text messages, a lot of messages on Facebook, and uh, all them good things. I don't know where to look, Paul. Where am I supposed to look? Where, do I look that way? Do I look which way is the right way? That way, Paul? That way? Okay. We've had... <laughs> Got to do it the right way. We've had lots of uh, text messages, phone calls, uh, all that good stuff, uh, wanting to uh, have a few dedications here and there. And so this tune we want to send out to the lovely, beautiful Polly that's uh, watching us this evening. She said this is one of her favorite songs. She's one of our star vocalists, Paul, when we go up to check days at Tabor, South Dakota. So especially for her and all the Surovatkas and all them great people, we're going to feature the beautiful effervescent Marla Yenok, and also Mr. William White, who just happens to be standing right by her, on a pretty tune, one of Polly's favorites, The Last Kiss Walt. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
crowd goes wild, especially for Polly and a favorite of hers, uh, The Last Kiss Waltz. Here's a nice little tune that uh, we hope you enjoy, and it has another nice Czech vocal. We're going to give you lots of Czech vocals out there. Hope you enjoy them. Here is the Gizazelina polka, the Green Birch. Thank you. 
tune called the Green Birch Polka. Paul, I almost started giggling on that last one. When that camera switched, we should have just switched right away. <laughs> I, I'm not that experienced. You're not that experienced, yeah. that's right. Uh, we have, oh, let's see here. Oh, we don't want to do that one. Okay. We want to uh, send this one out, especially to a good friend of mine, Mr. Aaron Schulke, and uh, he uh, sent me a note even I was watching on my phone while we were playing just a little bit ago there, Paul. How about that? It was a nice, kind message. That's right. He didn't say to stop playing and go to commercial. So uh, especially for him, also we want to throw this, uh, well, we'll save the next one for another guy. Here's a little tune. Uh, just wrote this out and thought we would uh, give it a try. Here is the Beer Bucket Polka, a little Babe Wagner tune. Orchestra. Hey, there we go. Sounds so good on a Friday night. You notice how we always save the Leo Lani Orchestra for Friday nights. I don't think you've played on anything but a Friday night. Only Fridays. Only Fridays. Hey, by the way, this uh, gal right here, she's a realtor and she closed on a house today, so she's in a very good mood today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right. Hang on. Uh, two things we have to talk about real quick here is, uh, all right, moms and dads out there, you've got the kids. They're jumping around in the neighbor in the uh, living room. We need you to take a little video on your phone and send it to us at News Channel Nebraska Facebook Messenger or just attach it to our page. Do whatever you have to do. Get us that video. We want to show those videos while the band is playing. It makes so many people so very happy to see the kids dancing to those polka tunes, something that probably used to happen a long time ago before the dances uh, kind of got unkid friendly in some areas. So uh, not that you guys did any of that, but I've got my, uh, this is my law of Mike and uh, we've got a new member of the band, not a new member. This is, yeah, we call this the governor. 
to uh, keep our six feet of distance. Uh, tell everybody who you are tonight. Hi, I'm Paul Manasek from Gretna, Nebraska. Is that where you born and raised in Gretna? Born in South Omaha. Oh, so is she. She's a South Omaha. Or no, your husband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's more South Omaha. This yeah. is the South yeah. Omaha, and yeah. this is the south end of the room. That's, so that's right. How you that's right. Okay. So this is well, South we Omaha, yeah. So how did you get uh, into the polka business? Uh, my father played in a polka band, um, and I remember when I was probably about that tall, I, I had my nose up at his, uh, at his music front, and he was pointing at notes. I had no idea what he was doing. We lived right across from a hall that had live music every Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. So, so you really had no choice. You I, were... that, that's right. That's right. Polka music on the radio every morning at 1130 and um, all, all day Sunday. So What station carried that polka music? Do you remember? Uh, KOIL in Omaha had it for the Grocery Boy show or something like that, oh, yeah, where you could win groceries. And uh, my mom actually won, and she used part of it to uh, help me buy a guitar. So, oh, this is she kept this the is music just a perfect going. poker story. Kept the music going, yeah. <laughs> wow, you got a great voice. Thank you. Uh, great to listen to you. So you're also a vocalist. I guess so, yeah. And I could hear that clarinet <laughs> pounding through in that first one. There you go. Lonnie, you got a good one there. Well, we, we we've, mi we've been missing you, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do more with the Leo Lonnie Orchestra. Let's real quick check Mike's mailbag. i got to put this down. Send us those videos of your kids dancing. We need it. I promise we'd have these videos going here. Uh, let's see what we've got in Mike's mailbag tonight. We've got letters coming in from all over. I tell you what, I told Father Joe, who does Mass in the morning, that his show's uh, become the most popular here. He said, it's not a show, it's Mass. I said, that's right. Uh, here we go. Bill and uh, Michelle from Rising City. Thanks for all your programming, especially Quarantine Tonight and the daily broadcast from St. Isidore's. You're really producing good work and providing a much-needed service. Keep up the good work. You are in our prayers. Thank you so much, Bill and Michelle. Tom and Charlene in Alton, Iowa, we want to let you know how much we appreciate the Mass on your channel every day. We enjoy Father Joe's Masses and his homilies. We've been watching this program ever since Holy Week. Thank you. We are thankful our dish works and uh, carries your channel. We also enjoy the musical program. See what I'm telling you? It's Father Joe and then Quarantine Tonight. The guy is going to be signing autographs by the end of the week. All right, next up on the letters here, this is Marv and Gloria from Columbus. They like the polka music, especially the Polish polka music of the Harmony Boys from Columbus. You have made a lot of Polish listeners very, very happy. Many positive comments were heard the next day from people watching from Omaha to Orlando. We love to watch Father Joe's masses every morning. We'd like to thank him and the Anonymous Domer for making that broadcast possible. Thank you, and may God bless you, and may all your viewers out there in NCN TV land. Well, that's awfully nice. Interesting, we had the Harmony Boys from Columbus. Uh, that's a Polish polka. And then we've got the Leo Lani Orchestra. This is the Czech side of the polka, uh, which is maybe the more common uh, in Nebraska. But the Polish side, you know, oh gosh, they got after it. Different language even. Whew. I tell you what, 8.28 is our time. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. We've got a look at news, your forecast for this weekend, and more Leolani Orchestra next on News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. I'm your host, Mike Flood. We're in our brand new undisclosed location, and it is very nice. You wouldn't even be able to tell if I didn't tell you that we had moved. And by the way, we have a birthday. William, you are 22 years old today. Who told you that? I have sources, William. I have sources. It wasn't, it wasn't today. It was Wednesday. It was. Oh. Indeed. 22 years old. How did you celebrate? Uh, we had massive turkey legs. Really? It was wonderful, yeah, that we got from Stoisich in Omaha. And on where did you eat these? At Bancroft. Okay. Yes, at my grandparents' house. Are you trying to get married tomorrow? You're already into Stoisich sausages. I mean, what's oh, going on? It's so, it's, you it's are wonderful. aging so fast, <laughs> William. It's a wonderful place. It really is. Go to go to Stoisich. Where is the camera? Yes. We don't know. I'm we actually, have, we never paid, have any clue on this program. Where at up. some point during the poker broadcast, so I have to yeah. Go to so Stoisich. you had turkey legs on your birthday. Oh yeah. How mm -hmm. many did you eat? I only ate like half of one because they were just gigantic. They were some of the largest turkey legs I've ever seen. Did they you wash like, it down with the beer? 
Oh, uh, not with a beer, with a Mexican Coke. Okay. Like, I know what that is, but... <laughs> it's just, it's the Coke in the glass bottles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. What yeah. else did you do to celebrate? I uh, went to Lincoln, played some trombone quartets uh, with, uh, with some friends there Gr that also play the trombone. Do you run That's into the girlfriend? That's helpful to play trombone quartets with people that play the trombone. If you don't, it's, it's really hard to do. Spend any time with a girlfriend? No, no, non-existent. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> William's available. <laughs> William is available and he likes sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, turkey legs, turkey legs. <laughs> and, and hey, wait a second, wait a second. Emily, Derek, Sid, and Roger put me up to that. So, yeah, you're, you're smoked. Oh, today. your husband's birthday is today? Yeah. What did you do for him? <laughs> he worked all day. He worked all day, and uh, I brought some cookies along for tonight. But I think uh, you need to get over to Stoicich's. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, how, is he 23? No, 66. 66? Six, six. <laughs> today he qualifies for Social Security. <laughs> he does. Oh, this is great. This is great. Hang on here. Oh, we got so much to unpack, but we got to get to Polka. Send us those videos of those kids. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Quarantine Tonight with the Leo Lonnie Orchestra. Great to be back here once again with you, ladies and gentlemen, on News Channel Nebraska. The boys and ladies of the band are playing just amazing this evening. If they play any better, they might get a cookie. Right, Marla? You brought cookies. Oh, yeah. 
We want to uh, send uh, this next tune out. Paul, I got lots of requests, and I got them all on this specially uh, handcrafted piece of paper. How about that? Uh, we want to uh, send one out, especially to a good friend of ours, Paul, uh, to Earl, who is watching this evening. Earl, I have a feeling, is at home dancing uh, maybe with a stick tonight. I don't know. I, he's just he's at home by himself, I think. So, or a broom or something, I don't know. So, And uh, also, we want to send this one out, especially uh, to, I had here, sent a nice tune out to Harold's niece, little Heidi Kirkner. Yeah, so we want to send one out especially to her. So here's a pretty tune. We're going to waltz time right now uh, on our uh, so two recordings ago, Paul, I think. Here's a little tune called Ya Milaval, I Have Loved. Tune of Ya Milova, I have love. You did that once, Paul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to uh, uh, send this next tune out. 
Uh, especially, uh, I had a phone request for uh, Mr. Raleigh Ott uh, from North Bend. And uh, he said that uh, it's going to be his birthday today. I think everybody was born today, except the rest of us here. And uh, so we want to say happy birthday to him. And uh, we're going to feature right now one of the finest, most talented trombone players that have ever graced this stage floor. <laughs> Secret location. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William White, from what town are we claiming from now, William? Council Bluffs, Council Bluffs, Iowa. And uh, so uh, this is a very cool tune, and usually you hear it always on a clarinet. But you know what? We change it up a little bit. We're going to have William play for you the clarinet polka. Mr. William Wright there. Holy smokes. It was smoking a little bit. That's probably why I said hi to Louis. Uh, we have a nice little tune now, a nice little waltz tune that uh, I had a friend of mine told me that he got a phone call from this guy. It got passed on from this one to this one to this one, Paul, and said, make sure to play all the good stuff and don't play any of the bad stuff. How are we doing so far? <laughs> well, well, it depends. Yeah, two ain't no three ain't bad. We like to send one out especially to good friends of ours, Francis and Joanne Pavel, all the way from the big town of Waverly, Nebraska. One of their favorite tunes. Here is Long Ago Waltz, also known as Ushieto Davno. Thank you. 
srdca mi tieli sveží. Poď láska končí, kriz krásna začína Next tune, Paul, do you see that title on there? Caleb sees that title. We want to, Caleb wants to send a, a tune out, especially to his lovely girlfriend, Haley. That's the same one as last time, right? Okay. And, um, uh, and I don't know why, as we come down this street that were a secret location, um, there were lots of stores. And Caleb says that I need to stop at this one store, and he happened to point at a jewelry store. And I don't know if his watch battery's out or what it is, so uh, uh, you got a camera on Caleb? Is he red yet, or is he matching his shirt? I don't know. So uh, Caleb said, send one out, especially to Haley, his favorite gal, because she's what a gal. There you are, Caleb. You look kind of, can't wave to Haley, Caleb. Can you wave? That a boy, that a boy. Haley, he's trainable, he's trainable. Here we go, here's what a gal. Orchestra, here we are on News Channel Nebraska. It, you know you're in the middle of a uh, pandemic when the last time they played was on News Channel Nebraska, right? 
When do you think, Lonnie, things are going to get back to normal for the polka? Somebody just put on Facebook, love hearing this music. I hope we know how to dance to it next time we can. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's going to be one of those things that uh, when it does start up, I think people are going to be a little hesitant yet, and yeah. I don't blame them at all. And uh, I think uh, once we kind of get moving on to next month, and uh, maybe the, for sure maybe the following month, things will sort of get back to normal. Maybe it won't be as many people or whatever, but uh, we might have to get used to seeing people dancing with masks on or something like that if people feel safe that way, which is perfectly fine. And um, I'm just hoping and praying it's sooner than later because there's a lot of good music and equipment and all that stuff from a lot of bands just sitting there waiting to be played. And, and just, the musicians are, yeah, are ready right. to go. Yeah, they're ready to go, but they're just... Can't, and you can't blame a place that wants to cancel oh, because yeah, yeah. Uh, they have to also be able to pay for the band and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're, we're just trying to work with everybody and make it work. And, and we thank you for opportunities oh, yeah. like this for us to bring our music, to bring it to everybody, especially to somebody all the way in Guatemala. Well, that, hey, that brings up a topic. Uh, we were kind of... I don't know if you'll have, you have time for that topic. Yeah, we do. Oh, you do. All right. Well, this is, yeah. Well, hang on. I got to turn my we're mic start on here. Now. You know, this is such a low-budget show. I mean, <laughs> you'd think we'd have everybody mic'd up tonight, but we just got to this new place. Now, Suze is over here, yes. and uh, we learned just tonight... She was saying she had somebody from Guatemala watch, and somebody in the band said, oh, is that your boyfriend? They, she said, no, he doesn't live there. <laughs> well, since you opened up uh, the spigot, where does he live? He lives in Stromsburg, Nebraska. Stromsburg? Yes. Did you meet him at FFA? No, I met him at a basketball game. Was he playing basketball? Um, he was actually taking scorebook, and I was cheering and caught each other's attention, and... When did this whole thing happen? <laughs> January. <laughs> oh, yeah. so is he watching you in Stromsburg tonight? Yes. Because you live in Rising, you live in Brainerd. Yes. How long, how far is Stromsburg from Brain? Does your dad know about this, by the way? <laughs> oh, yes. They've had, Lonnie's they've talked. Her dad. They've talked. They've talked? Yes. You uh, showed him your rifle? <laughs> He knows quite a few shotguns I have. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to get crossways with uh, yeah. the polka master over here. Yeah, but it's about 40 minutes if you don't speed. All right, well, keep it under 55 or 60 now or whatever it is, 95 now on Nebraska highways. <laughs> it keeps going up. That's fine by me. All right, well, we will let Sue's off the, off the hook there. We'll be right back. We've got more Leo Lani Orchestra coming up right around the corner. Tonight's programming brought to you in part by Black Hills Energy. The Leo Lani Orchestra returns on this Friday night to quarantine tonight. I want to thank our sponsor, the University of Nebraska Medical Center, as we uh, enjoy the sounds of this band that has uh, it's been around for a while and it's been a favorite on this program. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Leo Lani Orchestra on News Channel Nebraska. All right, we're going to send uh, this song out. Especially, um, I got we're going to kind of group it all in one. Uh, Dedication, is that the right words? Um, I want to uh, dedicate this one, especially for um, all those uh, workers, frontline workers through all this pan uh, pandemic, uh, especially for the medical people, uh, truck drivers, grocery store workers, and all the store personnel, clerks that just keep the store stocked and going, uh, all the teachers that did all the e-learning uh, when school was closing out, and uh, all the others that are just so numerous to mention. So especially for all those and all those that I have forgotten, uh, uh, this is a little tune for you and happens to be Caleb's favorite song. Right, Caleb? Mm -hmm. All right. So not What a Gal, not Haley, but this is uh, Caleb's favorite song. Here's the Green Garden Polka, good old Ernie Kutcher tune.
have Paul do a little stalling technique while I get my button accordion. Paul, show him what you're made of without falling over. Well, this is the time where I get to take control with the microphone. <laughs> so I always say we're stalling while Lonnie slowly puts on his Chesky typewriter. Right. So talking. he's going to amaze you with his nimble digits. What are you going to do, Lonnie? All right. Thank you. We want to send one out especially to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Joe and Marion Steno, all the way from the big town of Clarkson, Nebraska, who happen to be my uh, uncle and aunt, you betcha, and they're celebrating their wedding anniversary today. So uh, congratulations to you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, Uncle Joe likes the button accordion, and so we're going to do a little button accordion tune right now, a little tune called the Blacksmith Polka. How about that? That's Lonnie and his fantastic button accordion playing. I didn't know you, you need music for that, Lonnie. It, it, it helps. <laughs> it helps, like all of us. Like tenor music. Yes, sir. <laughs> so here's Lonnie. All right, unrehearsed, unrehearsed. 
Or just like we rehearsed it, one of the two. Oh, that's right. We want to, uh, let's see here, on my little sheet of uh, cheat sheet, we want to send one out, especially to all the fathers. You know what? Father's Day is this Sunday. Can you believe that? Out of, uh, on the bandstand, we have one, two, three, three fathers. That's right, on this side here. And also, I thought of this earlier, um, the Leolani Orchestra, as we are right now, we have one, two, three, four uh, members of the Polka Hall of Fame. And uh, it's a great honor, and they're great musicians. Marley Anak got inducted what year, Marla? Do you remember? Putting you on the spot. She's the only girl in the Polka Hall of Fame. How about that? So, huh? Oh, Darlene Clement's in there, too. She's not a musician. She's a promoter and a ballroom operator, yeah. So, what is the controversy, controversy. There's a big, big argument up here. So anyway, uh, so for all the fathers, and you know what, Paul? It's a very nice day to spend some time with your father. So uh, hopefully you guys can uh, see your fathers this uh, Sunday. Uh, hi to my uh, three girls at home, and hi to my daughter right here, my oldest one right there. Here is a little tune called When You Return, Landler. tune called When We Return Landler. Uh, we mentioned uh, our uh, drummer, uh, 
got introduced, uh, Mr. Rich Yenock, all the way from Papillion, Nebraska, celebrating his birthday today. And we always say there's six musicians and one drummer on the band. And by golly, that's Rich back there. So happy, happy birthday, Rich. And uh, we wish you many, many, many more. So uh, you... <laughs> We hope so too, Rich. We, we, we'd like you to keep playing as long as possible. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Lots of birthdays, Paul. Can you believe that? Lots of comedy tonight. Lots of comedy. That's okay. We'll, we're going to go along with that. And uh, this is a little tune that uh, I guess we, we never really did have the right name for this tune. And we kind of said, well, let's just make up one. And so uh, we had a good friend that uh, we haven't seen for a while, Paul. Maybe we should send it out to him, Mr. Gary Pellon, all the way from Columbus, Nebraska. Gary, if you're listening, hello. Hope you're doing well. And uh, this is a little Eddie Enoch tune that uh, got off of a recording, I don't know, years ago, back on the Olden Days Band. And here is a little tune we simply call the Pellon Polka. called the Pelon Polka. We had a nice tuba solo by our very own Mr. Caleb Rezach back there, single so far. Uh, well, he has a girlfriend, but he's not married yet. Uh, right, Caleb? That's correct, right? Yep. I'm not speaking out of place, am I? Nope. All right, okay. For your next engagement, Paul, call the Leolani Orchestra. <laughs> That's right, we play them all. We'd like to send one out. Uh, we had a little note from uh, Mr. Rick Lenneman. Wanted to uh, say if we could send out a tune to uh, very, very special people. Paul, all the way from Hooper Euling, uh, Gerald and Roberta Bodie, they said, would you please play a tune for them? And that's what we're going to do right now. Good old nice little tune called At the Mill Polka. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, a little tune called At the Mill, the polka. Everybody got the same one I do? 451? Okay. We want to send this one out, Paul especially. Well, I'll join in on Paul with this little request. We'd like to send this one out especially to Cindy up there at uh, um, Tabor. Oh, yeah, South Dakota. This is Cindy's favorite song, and Paul says we can't do this broadcast without playing her favorite song. And I said, yes, Paul, whatever you say. So Paul is going to put, uh, put his saxophone down, and he's going to uh, grab his clarinet here, and here is the Honey Bee Waltz. Cindy, the honeybee waltz. Oh, did you hear me back there? I was behind the stage moving to something, and uh, I had a couple chairs, and then I was like fighting all the chairs back there. At this new location, there are these uh, folding metal chairs behind your stage, and I was inspecting some of the flags that had the names on them, and we had a little collision. But we're okay now. We just, that was like drums for your band. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Leo Lani Orchestra. You're watching Quarantine tonight on News Channel Nebraska. We're going to be right back with more. Don't go anywhere. Boy, I just stepped outside this uh, undisclosed location, and it is so nice out there. The temperature is just perfect. There's no hot humidity, and uh, we got good weather for you to get home tonight. Usually there's a thunderstorm or something. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Leo Lani Orchestra here, and I have to point this out. The music that they play off of belongs at the State Historical Society. <laughs> what year is this stuff from, Lonnie? Sometimes it's written on there. Uh, this, I don't know, probably the uh, 50s, probably, 1950s, probably. This says on the back of it, Mr. and Mrs. Oh, that's a dedication, probably. Arnold Be Teal. Careful. Yeah. It, uh, the music we play uh, is uh, like a chart like that, is the original Ernie Kutcher uh, music library that uh, we've had now eight, 10-ish years, something like that. And uh, there's a lot of old charts in here and we try to save them. And he, he must have marked those out himself. Like that's the real deal. It's yeah, not this like is, a, these are all originals. And uh, like this chart, this next one we're gonna play, the Donushka Polka, the Donna Polka, uh, there was a great trombone man, piano man, Mr. Don Humsa, that played with Ernie Kutcher uh, when he was a young pup. 
and wrote a lot of charts. And one of the stories with him is, is uh, he would be working somewhere and he'd hear a polka on the radio and uh, he didn't have a cassette recorder obviously way back then. So he would go home and keep humming the song in his head, rode his bike home and hurry up and pencil it out at the piano and try to get it, get it as close as he could from what he remembered. So. See kids, that's what you should be doing with the radio stations. <laughs> we play the music, you go home and you mark it out there like this that's and then right. you play we'll it. See how we'll make it a contest, you want a free CD that way. <laughs> You think you'd get one kid in the United States to do that? Well, if we do, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, do you think that he actually went out and marked all these sheets of music for each member of the band, or did he? I don't even think he had a photocopier. Like, no, nope, this, this is the this is the original. So if this went, you gone. had to be pretty dedicated to the cause. Hang on a second, yeah. I gotta see if this is open. Yeah. So me and Ernie. Uh, could do the same thing. I'm doing what he's what he did with the microphone here. Uh, but playing off this is kind of. I mean, this is the real deal. This is the real polka. Yeah, this is this is permanent ink too. It doesn't smear. It's oh. permanent India ink. That's why it lasts so long. Yeah. Well, On it has to be. Regular manu manuscript paper like this now is hard to come by. It's Everyone from an old music teacher here. She's getting right into it. <laughs> Well, I think you've got something good going on here with uh, oh, this music. What's up first here? Okay, like we said, uh, the Danushka Polka, and uh, we're going to do this for uh, a good friend of ours. Uh, all uh, in what, what, what town in Texas, Paul? Do you know? Oh, that one. Ennis. Ennis, yeah, Ennis, Texas. We like to send out, especially to our good friend, Mr. Danny Zapatal, and his lovely wife and family, and uh, his band Check, and then some. Uh, Danny uh, helped us out uh, last year, kind of bailed us out, didn't he, uh, on our Ohio trip. So we want to thank him for that. We flew him into Nebraska, and then we barely got him back to the airplane. Uh, the airplane took off, and he was running with his luggage after it, flagging it down, because that's how close it was. And also, there's kind of a, the last, uh, let's see, it's June. So last month marked an anniversary on the band. Paul, I don't know if you're aware of that. It was an official one-year anniversary for our tuba player, Caleb, who joined the band one year ago, a month ago. He's doing a wonderful job. We we're glad that he come on the band. Great talent, and uh, um, I could say some other things, but uh, we're just going to not say it right now. So here is the Danushka Polka. <laughs> Thank you. 
There was still a little dust on that one. We'd like to send one out, especially I had a, a, a message sent to my phone. I'm kind of watching it. And they're sending requests as we are playing, Paul. So they said, uh, please play one, especially for Mr. and Mrs. Jens Jensen. So we should probably play one for him. And I uh, want to send one out, especially also uh, to, uh, I just sent one out to the girls at home. And also I got one other girl at home, my lovely bride, Kim, my lovely wife. Uh, this is probably a title that uh, she probably wish was, was more, I think, probably. Right, Paul? And uh, so here's a nice little tune. It's called... Well, it hasn't been too happy lately for farmers, but uh, this is one of those old tunes that we found in uh, Ernie Kutcher's music library was in the little book, they called it. Here's one called, we call it the Happy Farmer. farmer we might have last time we played that was probably Caleb's first job who knows oh yeah you did Marla I have a recording of it yeah and unfortunately I have one right now all right and now we want to uh, do a nice little tune <laughs> it's okay Marla we still love you that's right yeah that was a hard chart that that it was yeah it is so uh, we're gonna go to waltz time right now and uh, a nice little tune that uh, I don't know it starts off with a very, very special sound. There you go. We're going to feature Mr. Richard Yenock. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Well, one more time, Rich, in case they miss it. There you go. All right. I tell you, talent on loan. Here is a little, uh, we start with a tish. Here is back to my homeland. Yeah. 
solo tune of going back to my homeland. And Paul, you're going to have to go back there to Caleb and take his phone away. I think he was talking to Haley from the start of that first one. Yeah, that one there. That's okay. All right, we're going into our uh, next little pile of music here. And uh, this is a little tune that a good friend of ours uh, passed away uh, just too young in his lifetime, Mr. Greg Troyan wrote this chart out, a little Joe Lookish tune, and uh, before I forget, uh, for those listening out there and watching in there, uh, we would like to do like we did the last time. We offered a free CD to the person that sent me a message through either uh, leolaniorchestra.com or uh, my Facebook page, Leolani Or Orchestra through Messenger. Uh, the person that's the farthest away, furthest away, Further, further, the rest away, uh, we'll win a free CD and we'll mail one out to you. And the last one, we had two, they tied. It, it was, well, it wasn't quite a tie, but uh, I called it a tie. We had uh, Flo uh, Hollywood, Florida, and also uh, Corpus Christi, Texas was listening. And then they've got, well, yeah, so if I get a message from Guatemala, there's going to be a CD because I'm kind of betting that might be the furthest. I don't know. So here's a little tune. Uh, Paul, are you ready for this one? Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Here's the Fickle Annie Polka. That's a good little fun snappy tune. Oh, yeah. All right, Paul. All right, we should have did this one for Father's Day, I guess, yeah? Uh, I had a note here, uh, Paul. It says uh, from uh, Aaron Schulke, he said, send one out to the Bodies from Aaron. So this is what we're going to do from there. Uh, Paul, you see where he's from? I live in South Africa, it says there. Yeah, that's, that might be, I don't know. We're getting, 
We might have to uh, 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 do a Google search on these, a few of them, to just to make sure who the winner is, I guess, the way it's looking. All right, we're going to do a couple more, uh, uh, one more polka here, and then we have something special to close out the evening. And uh, we feature right now from the start the lovely, beautiful, effervescent Marla Yanak, and also uh, Mr. William White right here. Here is the father-in-law polka. Father-in-law polka. Paul, I'm looking at that clock there. I think we got to do one more before we do our closer, right? Wrong? All right. Uh, LL368, boys and girls. And for those that have a song list at home. You find it, Paul? Oh, Got it? All right, here we go. We're going to do this one, a quick little waltz, and then we're going to do our closer. Here is the Stoneheart waltz.
that timed out just right, Paul. Yeah, I did. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's not going to be too far away. It's going to be July 4th already. And uh, we thought it'd be appropriate for there's so much, so much happenings going on in this uh, great United State of States of ours that uh, it wouldn't, uh, uh, this is something that we, we need to do. And we hope that uh, you'll join in at home with us. We thought it'd be appropriate to uh, have the band play and close out on this song called God Bless America. the Leo Lani Orchestra and I can tell you even though I can't tell people where we are in this new undisclosed location but the people that own this place really like that song oh, on a level that we cannot compare so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining us on this Friday night the Leo Lani Orchestra has been a delight for us this is the third time they're on and we probably have to do the big band oh, just once, just, just to even it out. Just gonna have to. Yeah. It's gonna and, hurt uh, our feelings if we don't. You, you're gonna burn up that road between the <laughs> undisclosed location and uh, Omaha. Need you need another trip, yeah, to this place. And we'll have William bring you something if he stops and eats somewhere. William, you bring us a turkey leg <laughs> from Stoicich's. <laughs> And uh, we want to meet your girlfriend, you and uh, we might move the show to Stromsburg some night <laughs> to find out where. And Paul, you did just such a great job over there. Thank you. You've got a beautiful voice. And the birthday boy back there on the drums kind of gets left out. My governor stick isn't long enough to get back to you over there, but uh, we're, you're celebrating uh, 26 years tonight, right. 22 for William. So on behalf of all of us here at News Channel Nebraska, the entire Leo Lani Orchestra and our sponsor, University of Nebraska Medical Center, we bid you adieu from our brand new undisclosed location. We're so happy. Next week, all live shows and then two weeks of replays and then more live shows from July 14th to August 16th. And maybe, just maybe, uh, they'll be playing football and we'll be uh, playing volleyball and maybe we'll just spice it in there every once in a while with the show. So on behalf of all of us, thank you so much. It's time now for news. It's 10 o'clock Central Time on News Channel Nebraska.